hello guys welcome to my second video this video is going to be about why to choose Asian Institute of Technology Asian Institute of Technology which I will be referring as AIT this is a university based in Thailand the reason for making this video is uh, based upon that recently I have been seeing many comments uh, like on my Facebook wall and other scholarship groups people asking to choose between AIT and other scholarships I won't name any any of those other scholarships which comes with terms and conditions so not only that is the reason to choose AIT but like whenever in my life at least now <laughs> If I'm give, if I'm given this question of asking between a between an opportunity that comes with terms and condition and the other one that doesn't come with 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 those, I would certainly go for the one which doesn't come with terms and conditions because things have changed a lot, especially with the COVID COVID thing in hand. Uh, it it's been it's been even more difficult to go abroad for studies. It's been even more difficult to get jobs in Pakistan or elsewhere so why would you want to make your life more complicated with the terms and conditions involved whereas you have an other option of AIT which is a very suitable convenient less expensive and like less bothering option of choosing for your career so that is the reason I'm making this video to address to those people who are confused to choose between XYZ scholarships and AIT. Okay, let's begin the actual video. Why to choose AIT? I guess uh, like the, the, the most important reason why to choose AIT is that uh, even though it, it you won't find AIT on like on a very in the QS ranking or other good rankings but all the peoples that I have met in my life or AIT alumni I'm speaking of my teachers from Manhattan UIT Jam Shoro those are real engineers and those are some amazing teachers that I have had in my life and their their way of teaching their way of taking examinations their way of assessing it's beyond, beyond, beyond what I have learned from any other teacher. So uh, maybe uh, you would be thinking I should not journalize this based on if they are coming from AIT, but that's that's what they told to me themselves that in their whole life, even though they are doctors and they have done their postdocs, but they, they mentioned that whatever they have learned, they have actually learned in AIT. So, I assume that regardless of this, this university being on the QS ranking or not, this university is really a place that you should, you should go at least for, for one, one program. So, we'll come to that, what kind of programs this university offer. The reason number two is that when you have many uh, applications going on when you're looking for master's opportunities when you're looking for PhD opportunities and you have your set of documents ready in hand and from documents I mean your motivational letters your recommendation letters your S, I mean your uh, English scores and all these things and if you sit down computer in a very calm and relaxing environment I think the AIT application should not take more than 45 minutes. Yeah, that's even more than what it would actually take. For master's scholarship, they don't even ask you for recommendation later, which can be a task if you are coming from Pakistan. And uh, the entire process of application is quite simple. You just go make account and it's very simple, very basic. They need very basic data. And after you submit within the proper deadlines, you get to hear back from them quite soon if the admissions is still going on. And then the, the process is very quick. The staff is very good. They reply to you. They, they look for your specific conditions especially in times of COVID 
that you can go to Thailand or not. You can and like you can absolutely start studying online these days. Reason number three is that, uh, especially to Pakistanis, this particular university give many many good scholarships, especially the Asian uh, Development Bank scholarship, the World Bank scholarship. And these, so these are the scholarships that would fund for uh, all of your stuff, like your flight, your visa, your your accommodation, your stipend, everything, your food. But there are some other scholarships that AIT offer in which they sometimes they only waive your fee and you have to manage your other expenses yourselves. But there are other scholarships that AIT again give based on the results of your uh, English proficiency and your GPA, they give you 100% scholarship plus a stipend. So the stipend may, be, may vary between 6,000 to 7,000 baht or maybe beyond that, depending upon what kind of a scholarship you get, because there are variety of scholarships that AIT offer. But that is always going to be sufficient. So if you look for a scholarship, so this is a long list of different kind of scholarships that AIT offer. And this each scholarship has its own terms and conditions and it goes for different kinds of programs and different kind of eligibilities. Uh, so if you're from Pakistan, maybe you're, you are only eligible for some of them, but you can like apply and try your luck. The reason number uh, I lost the numbers, but the next reason is that living in inside the AIT or even in this country, it's it's very less expensive. You you even if you just get the waiver only tuition fee waiver and you have to live from your own pocket, it's still not that expensive. It would come under thirty to thirty five thousand PKR per month, and you can easily manage in that. The environment is really good the and also AIT gives you many many uh, feasible options of doing your studies online even there are many options that give you opportunity to start your PhD studies online and later you can come this is also designed in term in the times of COVID so that it's easy for everyone to start studying and uh, Thailand is a very beautiful place to to be as a student, to live there, to go traveling once once it's open uh, fully. So speaking of September 2021, it's still not open, especially for Pakistan. You can't come to AIT, but many of the students even this year have started their studies at AIT online. So that's not a problem that 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 thing will be solved with time, but Definitely, this is an option which you should be considering. So AIT has uh, some specific program that it is very well known for, especially in terms of field of civil engineering, water and transportation and things like that. So you have to be ready and you have to know yourself that what kind of field you're looking into that and if you just have a look and you find your field here maybe you just want to apply for it i highly recommend that then there are so uh, yeah aid offers so many dual degree programs you can um, spend some of your semesters abroad up from abroad, I mean, even outside of Thailand, also. And there are uh, AIT offers professional master's program. So, even if you, so, from professional master's, I mean, if you already have done a master's and you're looking to further learn, but don't go for PhD opportunity, professional master's are a thing for you. And they, again, it, it may come in different fields and like that. They may also be business related and stuff. Uh, on closing, uh, I, I actually really look forward to maybe uh, discuss in the comments section what, uh, why and why not to choose AIT. And I hope I discussed about one year master's program that is part of uh, kind of a professional master's program that you that you can do even after your first master's or that you can also go for without your first master's. 
but on on the closing note AIT is a very good place to live if you want to go abroad to study and take your family along so Thailand and AIT in in particular uh, it's it's AIT is is a little town inside so you you can get everything inside AIT from groceries from food and like Asian food Pakistani food everything inside the AIT so if you if you bring your family along here in AIT it's super convenient and it's super cheap the the visa processing it's very simple it's it's nothing you don't need any bond you don't need any conditions you don't have to pay anything to anyone and they get to live with you as soon as you can come okay in that now COVID can play its role to make the process a little bit tough but if the COVID thing ends it's super super convenient to live uh, to bring your family to Thailand and live there with AIT because everything is cheap everything is affordable and AIT has its own school for the students for the kids of the students and faculty who are inside the AIT so that's it I hope we can discuss more about it in the comment section like share subscribe thank you so much